Welcome back, True Seeker. It's Sunday, December 9th, 2018. Many people have asked for me to make a video on the protests taking place in France, specifically in Paris, and protests that are now spreading throughout the world. This ongoing protest began November 17th, 2018, and I want to show you why it began that day. 1117. Before we begin, introduce you to this topic that we'll be using to break this down. Gematria. It is the secret language within the English language. And for anyone in France going, well, wait a minute, we speak French. Yeah, I know, but you also speak English over there, and so does the rest of the world. The English is the language of the New World Order. And anyhow, there's this code within English that you can use every single day to decode what is taking place in this world we all share. And in this code, Paris, France sums to 187. The prime factorization of 187 is 11 and 17, like the date that this began, November 17th. And 187 is a very special number to the ancient accepted Scottish rite of Freemasonry, which sums to 187. Huge number over here in the United States of America, the English-speaking nation, where the nation's capital, Washington, D.C., is named after the Scottish Rite Freemason, George Washington. George Washington, 187. Washington, D.C., 187. So across the world, you've heard the term New World Order. You've heard of Illuminati. Illuminati was a branch of Freemasonry. And it's absolutely intertwined with the Scottish Rite. The Scottish Rite has their greatest history in France, in the city of Paris, France. So anyway, let me explain how these four ciphers work, and then we'll look at further why this protest began on 1117 in Paris. The cipher on the far left is the alphabetic order. A is 1, B is 2, C is 3, D is 4, up to Z, the 26th letter is 26. And understand this code is in tribute to God. The people who control the world play God by using this code. So alphabetic order, A is one up to Z is 26. The next cipher is the alphabetic order with the rules of numerology. So where it changes is J, the 10th letter. The numerology of 10 is one plus zero is one. The next letter K is the 11th letter. 11 breaks down to one plus one is two. L, the 12th letter, one plus two is three. You just make each letter a single digit number going all the way up to Z. So Z instead of being 26 becomes two plus six is eight. Follow? Now the ciphers over here are just the reverse alphabetic order. Z is one going back to A is 26, just counting the alphabetic order in reverse. And the last cipher is the reverse alphabetic order with the rules of numerology. The ciphers we're primarily gonna look at here as we decode why this began November 17th are the numerology ciphers, alphabetic order forwards and backwards. So November 17th, it's the day leaving 44 days left in the year. That's a big number because right now Paris is a police state. And these protesters, they're being referred to as yellow jackets. They're also being re referred to as yellow vests. I am hearing the term yellow jackets more commonly in the media. We're going to look at both names, though. Yellow Jackets sums to 44. The protest with the Yellow Jackets began on the day leaving 44 days left in the year. And because of the protest, the military is now on display and Paris has turned into a lockdown police state. Seen this before in Paris in another big Masonic ritual, the nightclub shooting, November 13th. That's the day in history, the Knights Templar. Well, it was a Friday the 13th in France that the Knights Templar were burned at the stake. The Knights Templar, the Masons of their time. Anyhow, military equals 44, so does police state. And the protest of the Yellow Jackets has brought on the military and police state. Again, this began on the day leaving 44 days left in the year. November 17th, 2018, it was also a date with 39 numerology. Masonry equals 39, secrecy 39. When the French elections were going on, I was showing the parallels between the United States and France and the significance of the number 58 in elections throughout history. You had Emmanuel Macron versus Marine Le Pen. 
both Gematria 58, like Freemasonry, like Secret Society, also like Washington, like United States. Over here, a nation founded by Freemasons who spent a lot of time in France, in Paris. Again, the Masonic motto is order out of chaos. And that's what we're seeing. This is a order out of chaos ritual. We'll see all what comes out of this. But this is what masonry does all throughout history. It contrives a problem to bring about their planned solution. The Masonic motto in Latin is ordo, ordo ab cal, which means order out of chaos. Notice Macron is 40 years old right now. Macron, 40 years old right now. You know what? He's born in 77. I believe his name also has Gematria 77. It does. See the 58 and the 77? That's just like secret society. Washington, D.C. over here in the United States on the 77th Meridian headquarters for the secret society of the Scottish Rite in Washington, D.C. But he's 40 years old right now, coming up on his 41st birthday. The word protest equals 40. He's at the... Uh, front and center of the protest. He's a target. A lot of people want him to resign. He's not living up to his campaign promises. Same thing all over the world. Rigged elections across the world. Phony politicians born for the throne, born into this Masonic network, lying to their people, and then not following through. Same thing all across the world. It is the Masonic New World Order. So anyway, he's 40 years old. He's at the center of this protest that began in November, both words with Gematria 40. From the start of the protest to his birthday is a span of 35 days. Macron has the Gematria of 35, also 28. And consider what's 11 plus 17 for November 17th, 11 plus 17, 28. And in light of this beginning on the 17th, on a date with 28 numerology, Mason is also 17 and 28. Numbers that come up again and again. In light of, this, light of the Scottish Rite of Freemasonry having such a history in France, notice how protest and Scottish overlap in Gematria. Same with the alphabetic order and alphabetic order with the rules of numerology. Yellow vest, what the protesters are also called, has Gematria 49 like Scottish. You know, over here in the United States, Washington also has the Gematria 49. George Washington, the Scottish Rite Freemason, their headquarters in Washington. Nation founded by Scottish Rite Freemasons, America, also 49 for the record. America also 32, established on a date with 32 numerology. Yellow Jacket, also has Gematria 43 like Masonic. Yellow Vest, also has Gematria of 158 like Freemasonry. Don't forget about the Jesuits. The Masons operating within the Catholic Church. Their date of formation was August 15th, 15 slash 8. The Jesuits are never too far away. They have a lot of history in France as well. So what the head of the New World Order is, these powerful secret societies. Yellow vests also sums to 42, the plural, like Freemason. Freemasons, the plural is 43, I could have mentioned, like Masonic and Yellow Jacket. And um, Yellow Vest also has this Gematria of 177, like New World Order. And no doubt, New World Order operation. In light of the color yellow, um, this color is known to provoke and bring about anger. So I think that's also uh, part of the plan. The order out of chaos. The color yellow can be bright and intense, which is perhaps why it can often invoke such strong feelings. Yellow can quickly grab attention, but it can also be abrasive when overused. It can appear warm and bright, yet it can also lead to visual fatigue. Color psychology suggests that certain colors are capable of evoking certain moods and may even have an influence over behavior and well-being. While color associations can be influenced by a number of different factors, including past experiences and cultural associations. Some colors do tend to evoke certain moods or feelings. The color psychology of yellow, some of the key characteristics that are often associated with the color. Warmth, 
difficult to read, frustration. Yellow can also create feelings of frustration and anger. While it is considered a cheerful color, people are more likely to lose their tempers in yellow rooms, and babies tend to cry more in yellow rooms. Yellow is the most vi visible color. It is also the most attention-getting color. Yellow can be used to draw notice. Yellow can be aggressive. While it can be an energetic color, this intensity can also have a downside. Sometimes yellow can come off as a very aggressive and even confrontational. In great quantities, people may be left feeling irritated or even angry when surrounded by yellow. I agree that there's a level of aggression and frustration associated with yellow. The walls of my school are all yellow, and since the new building opened, more fights have occurred in the hallways where there is the most amount of yellow. Also, some of the classrooms that have yellow in them seem to be associated with more frustrated students. I find yellow to be a highly irritating color. When I'm in a yellow room, my agitation level increases whether I was in a good mood before I walked in it or not. One reason I believe I find it so annoying is that I'm an introvert and yellow is a very exposing and in your face type of color, which are traits most introverts would naturally have an aversion to. Yellow is definitely an extrovert's color. So keep it short. I'll be back tomorrow with the uh, daily podcast, Monday through Friday. Um, before I go, I'll just point this out to you. Another headline that began circulating yesterday, reportedly an FBI agent was shot in Brooklyn, New York, and the paramedics responded to the shooting at 3.22 in the afternoon. Just want you to see this real quick. Come down to the story. So here's the story. FBI agent shot and wounded in Brooklyn. They received the call at the shooting at about 3.22 p.m. And the shooting happened in the area of 92nd Street, right? So this news came December 8, 2018, a date with 58 numerology. By the way, the protest came to a big head yesterday in Paris on this same date with 58 numerology, the big Freemasonry number. We just saw the death a week earlier of Mr. Bush, Bush equals 58, who was a member of Skull and Bones, the Masonic order that identifies by 322. Notice that this happened in Brooklyn, New York, which we've talked about many times before. Brooklyn, New York, 223 or 322 in reverse. And again and again, when you pay attention, you see how the mainstream media post numbers that are significant to this Masonic code. And you start to recognize that all across the world, things are being done by this code intentionally. Notice Brooklyn, New York also sums to 79. If you've seen my work on the death of HW, he died on a date with 79 numerology. We talked about how Paul Walker, whose first movie was The Skulls about Skull and Bones, died 79 days after his own birthday. The word murder does have gematria of 79. But notice Brooklyn, New York, and the term the synagogue of Satan. Again, this code of gematria is largely Jewish. Ish, meaning not really. And in the end of the Bible, which this code is largely connected to as well, it says the false Jews who are liars, you know, they'll be in control of things in the end times. And the synagogue of Satan also has Gematria of 92. So don't forget that Judaism and Satanic Gematria equals 322. And Brooklyn, New York is the most Jewish neighborhood in the United States of America, which is the most Jewish nation in the world. So. To keep calling it all a coincidence is to deceive yourself. I'll also remind you in light of the FBI, J. Edgar Hoover died May 2nd, 72, a date with 79 numerology as well. Last year, there was the death of Rockefeller by the numbers on the 79th day of the year. It's not hard to see who these people served. So. And uh, in light of masonry, don't forget that in Jewish gematria, Masonic is 223 as well. 
and masonry based in the Old Testament, the Jewish section of the Bible. In case you're new here, just using the uh, alphabetic order, the dark green cipher, things to definitely remember. English equals 74, Gematria equals 74, Masonic equals 74, Jewish equals 74. There's a whole lot more to that list, but um, 74 is definitely a number to know. Holiday and Independence Day, 74 over here in the U.S. Our Independence Day is July 4th. And then what is it over in France, Bastille Day? It's uh, July 14th, 14th slash 7, the way they write it over there. Freemason, 147, like the day they celebrate Bastille Day. The American Revolution, the French Revolution, both of those things followed the establishment of the Bavarian Illuminati, which was a Masonic fraternity. So we'll leave it there, true sicker. Until next time.